Hi, Pat Whitworth, proud member of the United States Professional Tennis Association, the Prince Elite Staff. Hey, it's time to work on really nailing those volleys. Today, it's the forehand volley. All right, so we're ready to volley. You better be holding the continental grip. Hand right on top. Actually, the Atlanta Braves have helped me a lot coaching the continental grip. If you can do the tomahawk chop, you're holding the continental grip. Hand on top. Your first assignment is to just get the racket in front of the ball. That's right. Have the racket intercept the ball by just waiting and blocking. You're going to have to squeeze slightly to absorb the impact of the ball. Once you've done this, you can get the racket in front of the ball and then push straight forwards. Notice how the strings continue to face directly where the ball was hit. The same will apply for the low volley. You still have to get your racket right in front of the ball. You are going to need to tilt your racket a little bit more, and this is where the continental grip really becomes important. Once you have the racket in front of the ball, you can start to once again push straight forwards. Do not lift up the racket, push the racket forwards, and let the tilt of the racket lift your volley. Now let's watch from a side view. You'll see how compact the motion is, how well out front the ball is being contacted. In slow motion, you hardly see the racket move at all. There's very little wrist motion in this whatsoever. Contact well out front. Now as the player takes the racket too far back and meets the ball late, there's no follow through, no control on the volley. Now watch as this player really drives their legs into the volley. Great shot. Tennis for the health of it. See the 34 reasons to play at www.uspta.com.